We're going to try to solder the IC on now. If we take a look here. Here's a notch for pin 1, so pin 1 is going to be right here. So, with this particular IC, if we turn it around here, the bevels, there's a big bevel on this side and there's not a bevel on that side. So if we turn it around and I just knocked it off the board. So we, at least it came back the right way. We'll find that the bevel side is pin 1 so when we get the bevel here this will be pin 1 and also manufacturer's logo if it's printed this is also be on the pin 1 end here's a logo so this has got to be pin 1 there so what we want to do is put a dot of solder on one pad So we're going to tack one side then come back and tack the other side so the first thing we want to do is put a little dot of solder here Now we'll move the IC over into position. And we're going to tack that. Check for alignment. That's pretty good, it looks like. So I'm going to tack that pin there I got solder to tack now I'm going to take and push down on the IC and reheat that tack connection just to make sure the IC is down tight on the board Now I want to examine all the pads to make sure that everything is right where it belongs. Everything looks okay. So now it's just a matter of applying a little solder to each pin. I can't tell how good a job I'm doing here in the camera. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got in position, everything looks good. I'm going to go back to my microscope to do the final soldering. Or maybe let's see if we can do a couple more here. I always touch them up under the microscope. I'm using .015 solder which works good because it gives me a lot of control over how much solder gets on the actual connection. So it looks like I've got them so I'm going to do the other side because the back side's hard to reach.